How does the lives of Archie and Lily Beth change when King Charles ascended the throne? Since Archie and Lily Beth were the new king's nephew, Charlie III, they were to receive the title of prince and princess. However, the title has not yet been confirmed by either the present or Buckingham Palace. Meanwhile, after the title of William and his wife Kate changed to Prince and Princess of Wales, the children's name also quickly changed with released titles. According to some shorts, Archie's and Lily Beth's parents Harry and Meghan Markle have turned down their rights as Prince and Princess, instead wanting the children to live the same life as normal Americans do. Megan also said in an interview to Celebrity that she also doesn't want her kids to be indulged into the royal family because of the baby's skin color. However, under the rule established by King Yeo Sik in 1970, the title given to king children and grandchildren do not take into account great grandsons. Thus, by before Archie and Lilibet were given the title of Prince and Princess upon Charlie III accession to the throne. The non ordination of Archie and Lilibet is going to have to be promulgated publicly. However, both the British and American law require that people over the age of 18 break a deal rules and will be able to make their own decisions. Then it's time we know exactly if Archie and Lilibet really want to be a member of British royal family. Even in the most unlikely case, Archie remains in the line of succession to the throne of the United Kingdom. The line of the Harry and Meghan family are at the United States OK. They have high income and can afford to pay Jan Rusley. In 2020, Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle vacated their role as British senior members, bringing their son Archie to the United States. The couple welcomed the daughter Lily Beth Lark Jones in an interview with on rap Prince Harry in March in 2021. Harry revealed that he has been cut off of financial support after leaving the police. Earlier, Crown Prince Charlie Harry's father has spent the majority of expenses associated with the youngest son and his royal duties, including the expense of hiring staff and traveling. According to the Daily Star, Harry's total income, Meghan has up previously £96 million, over $125 million. As they left the royal family, financial support has been cut off. They have a major source of income diverse mainly from an inheritance from Harry's late mother's Prince Diana. They also have some jewelry from Harry's great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth I. Later, they developed business and advertising facilities. They signed several million dollars, including a multiple years deal with Netflix to produce documentaries, feature films, and other content. While the exact number were not disclosed, it will estimate that the contract could rate as $115 million. The, the couple also signed a contract to produce postcards with modified estimate of $25 million. Archie's and Lily Best Lie is a story heavily hunted by a journalist and paparazzi. It seems, however, that they are defending their children well. Do you have any question about Archie's and Lily Bad Lies? Let us know in the comment section below. And please stay tuned and don't forget to click the bell to get notified about more videos like this. Goodbye and thank you for watching.